Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Today I'm going to be creating a multi-photo layout for Multi-Photo Monday and I'm a guest designer here for this little series and I'll be leaving a link in the description box below to the other ladies for this hop. And I am going to be starting off here today, you can see from my multi-photo layout with three photos that I've printed in landscape in black and white, they're two and a half by three and a half photos. And I'm going to map them in this basil textured cardstock paper that is tutu pink. And I love this color, it's gorgeous. And I love that pink with that wood grain. I think it's really pretty. And I'm actually using a kit that I purchased at Crop and Create last year. I can't remember what the name of this kit was, um, but it's just gorgeous, I love it. And I've, I've been kind of picking my way through it over the last year or so using it uh, kind of just every once in a while where I need a little bit of um, inspiration. I love it when you're using a kit because everything works together and it really takes a lot of the guesswork out of creating your layout. So that's what I'm using here today for products is just those things that were in that kit. Now you can see here I'm going through and I'm just matting those photos like I said. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a border in that light pink, I think that's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to mat this patterned paper. I think this was from Crate Paper Cute Girl and I really love the colors in this pattern paper. And I just wanted them to run on the horizontal and the, that is the, the lines in this paper. I want it to be on the horizontal rather than vertical. So I cut the paper in that way and now you can see that I'm just matting it with kind of a teal colored cardstock just to make it pop a little bit and create that layer and mat the paper in that way. And then this is going to be the base for my three photographs. So I'm going to, of course, as you can see, use that wood grain from Simple Stories as my base for my entire layout. And I am going to actually size that wood grain paper down by half an inch. Um, and I'm going to mat that on a darker paper as well. So I'm just taking my little Tim Holtz trimmer here just to make sure that I've got that matte on that um, patterned paper relatively close. I was thinking about maybe offsetting my photographs um, in this way. I wasn't really sure yet how I wanted to place them. Um, I did know that I wanted to put another pattern paper though behind that teal cardstock just to um, add a little bit more interest to that photo matte layer. And I really love this little floral paper. It's super cute. I think this is a Dear Lizzie paper, but I'm not sure. And I um, also took that out of that kit. So I was going to just, um, I am going to mat that large piece onto there. And meanwhile, I'm just going into that kit again for a title piece. So just kind of wanted to start to play around with this title piece and figure out what I wanted for that and where I wanted that to go. So these are some glitter foam th uh, thickers or phrase stickers. Um, these might have been Dear Lizzie or maybe Amy Tangerine, I'm not sure, but I really love them. And like I said, they were part of that kit. So that is going to make that title super easy. And here you can see, I'm just working with my photographs again and just sort of trying to get a visual of how I wanted to place them. And eventually I decide that I'm not going to offset them. I'm just going to kind of stack them um, so that they're straight with that straight paper behind them or that horizontal paper there. So what I'm going to do is stick those down. I'm going to try to leave about as much of a margin at the top and bottom, and, or I should say the very top of that uh, straight paper and the very bottom of the straight paper and then this side. And I'm just gonna take my T-square and make sure that I've kind of roughly got that straight. I want to make sure that it is as straight as it can be. And so I'll just sort that out here quickly. And um, once I'm happy with that, I am going to take that photo that's going to go in the center and I'm going to pop it up onto some craft foam so that it's just going to be over to the side, over to the left of the other two photographs a little bit, just to add a little bit of interest to those photos. And I'm going to, just like I said, pop that up onto some craft foam. This is just some craft foam from Walmart. It's got the adhesive on the back already. And you can see there that it's going to add just some really nice dimension to that center photo. Now these photographs were taken at one of um, Bailey's bridal showers this summer. And what happened there was um, 
the bridesmaids tried to lift her. They actually do have done this at a lot of different events where they lift her up and they hold her sort of like across them. But it was super hard to do because she was wearing a fairly short little dress. And so they were trying not to <laughs> let her dress, dress slide up, which was very nice of them. So you can see that it's just kind of awkward and they're just having a blast trying to lift her. So this series of three photographs is... Um, Perfect for a multi-photo layout for sure. I really like how this is going to turn out in the end. Now, if you're wondering about those, how I prepared those photos, what I did was I just stuck them into Lightroom and I uh, really, uh, you know, I increased the exposure on the photos because I wanted them to be really bright and uh, really desaturated. And so they're, they're black and white, first of all, so there's no color at all. And then I just really, uh, you know, turned up the exposure, the highlights and the whites, uh, maximized uh, the clarity a little bit. And then just, you know, it's like I said, they're printed in black and white. So you have just a lot of really nice um, brightness in the photos. I like them. So uh, now you can see that I'm just taking that patterned paper with a floral on it. And I'm just trimming that down a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure that it's sort of about the same width all the way around. Just using my Fiskars trimmer here to make sure that I've got that nice and straight. And I will take that uh, branding strip off the bottom of my Simple Stories paper here as well and just get that paper size down. Now I did, I had used a navy paper that's kind of an embossed paper and I'm pretty sure it's a Dear Lizzie paper that was in this kit for another project. And actually what I did with that paper was I had gutted it. And so then when you have a gutted piece of paper, it's perfect for a frame. And I wanted to use a darker color for a frame on this layout. So like I said, I decided to size it down by half an inch, the wood grain paper. And I use that Dear Lizzie Navy paper as a frame. Now you can see that this is, like I said, going to make just really quick work of the title. And this is pretty cliched title it's you know you have this phrase in lots of the different collections right but you know it works and it's easy and it's simple and it's done <laughs> even better um, so there's that gutted paper that I was talking about and I really like that navy as a frame and what I'm going to do to uh, repeat that navy is add some embellishments from that kit that have some navy in them so I'm going to start off with that little bicycle piece which I love because it's quite large and it's running on the horizontal, like the lines of the paper in that uh, pattern paper um, underneath the photos. And so that it just continues your eye in that way. And I, I just really like that. I like the shape of that embellishment and I think it's perfect for that area. So I just popped it up on some foam adhesive. Now you can see that little bunny that I'm showing you there. Um, if you followed me for a while, that's that's you'll know that that's one of Bailey's nicknames, bunny. Um, I used to call her that a lot and I try to every once in a while when I'm creating a layout with her that's kind of like a little more whimsical and fun, I will stick a little embellishment in there that has a bunny on it. Now this is a die cut again from the from that kit and it says um, oh hello on it which I thought was really cute because <laughs> oh hello girls oh you're gonna lift me up again I just thought that was kind of cute with the photographs and it, of course it goes with the colors on the layout so I'm gonna stick that in over there on the side and then create another little cluster in that area and then that's going to uh, complete my triangle for my visual triangle here taking your eye from the title area there over to the side and then bounce back down to where that bicycle is down in the corner. I'm just going to take a couple of the little buttons that were in the kit as well and I'm going to use those to embellish above my title piece there. And then what I did was I just took my computer. Well, I didn't take my computer. I went to my computer and I typed out the journaling for the layout then I just took my scissors and just roughly cut those into strips. Um, I don't really feel like those have to be cut perfectly straight. I'm okay with them not being 100% straight. And I just took my scissors then and I just roughly cut those into strips. And now you can just see I'm taking my fine line bottle 
with my liquid adhesive here and I'm just going to stick those down. I love using my tweezers for this process. I think it's super helpful and I don't have much for fingernails so I find my tweezers are super useful for this process. And that's going to be basically it for this layout. I'm gonna take a few little enamel dots and put those down um, in a few spots where I have those clusters created. I like the white, I think it just pops up off that wood grain and um, that's going to be it. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. Uh, Multi-photo layouts are a lot of fun to create. It is, um, f sorry about my head there. <laughs> it is fun to create a layout that has, uh, you know, more than one picture. And I don't do it that often. So I was really excited when I was asked to participate in this, um, this little series this week and be the guest designer. So make sure you check out the other ladies videos. I have left a link in the description box below so that you can hop on over to their YouTube channels and check out what they did for their multi-photo layouts today. Thanks so much guys and thank you for stopping by and I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you another time here on my channel. Bye-bye.